Hey there, my friend. It's time for our weekly wisdom card draw. And it is the last card draw of 2023. Hard to believe, right? So as you think about the energy of whatever comes out today, maybe think about how can you use that as a contemplation point for how far you've come this past calendar year. And, I, and I'm saying calendar year because we tie so much to the calendar year, but it's but it's actually a season in nature where there's a lot of resting and renewing. So the world kind of expects us to come in and hit the ground running on January 1st. But that's not, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, not necessarily what the Earth is doing. So it's okay to let yourself ease into the into the new year and, and take some time to reflect on where you are right now, how far you have come this year, and what are some intentions you want to put out for the next year. And not in a necessarily New Year's resolution kind of way. There's all kinds of theories about New Year's resolutions and how effective or ineffective they are. But I, so I like to think of it as intentions. What is the energy that you want to go into the next year with? So not necessarily something you're going to do every single day starting January 1st. Those things tend to tend to not always work out for us. So let yourself be at peace. Let yourself just be wherever you are and 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 ask what energy has evolved for you this past year and what energy do you want to take into the next year and we'll get a little help from our card deck for that today too so again this card deck is i'm going to be drawing a card from running your world which is the companion deck to my book running the world marathon memoirs from the seven continents and each one of the cards has a photo from the seven continents with a message on the back that is a reflection prompt. This one actually is reflection and and gives you some 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 contemplations and hopefully some inspiration for you to shine your light in the world, which is what you are really here on this earth to do. So in this time, I always like to invite you to come into the present moment. Let yourself just arrive right here right now letting go of anything that came before letting go of anything that will come after letting yourself just slow down for a moment and pause and be right here right now you can close your eyes if that feels good place a hand on your heart if that feels good just start to notice your breath Noticing it coming in, noticing it going out, not needing to change it or control it. You don't even have to take a deep breath. Just noticing what's already here. This process of connecting with your breath really grounds you in the present moment. Because the present moment is the only place and time that your breath can ever be. Your body is always present. And it is the mind that likes to wander off into the past or, you know, fret or plan or, you know, get involved in the future. Sometimes at the exclusion of being in the present. So let yourself just be right here, right now. Noticing if thoughts come and distract you and you chase after them. Letting that be perfectly okay. Welcome to the human race. That's what our minds like to do, chase after the thoughts. So without judging yourself, just bringing your attention back to the breath. And I know I came in with the idea that you can reflect on the year and and see what energy you want to bring into the next year. But for this moment, let all of that go. Let yourself again just be right here, not worrying about the past year or even trying to summarize the past year, not trying to imagine what energy will come in for next year. Just letting yourself be with the energy of right now. And as you continue to do that, I'm going to bring the cards to my heart and ask to be guided to the message that will be most helpful for you in contemplating the year, the year behind, the year ahead, and life as a whole for you. What energy will most help you 
reflect. And setting that intention out there, I'm going to shuffle the cards. And then there is nothing for you to be doing right now, except being right here, right now. Noticing the breath. Noticing the energy. Just noticing right here, right now. And our message today is, ooh, I love it. Natural power, natural power. So this is a dragon from, this is uh, from Beijing and it was the Imperial Palace. Yes, this is from the Imperial Palace in Beijing, China. All right, natural power. You are a powerhouse. Literally, your body and soul house an immensely powerful being. This power is not born of how hard you work or how much money you have. Your power stems from your aliveness, from the fact that you exist. The natural power that radiates from you is not meant to hold anyone else down. It's meant to lift everyone up. It's meant to lift you up. You have the power to make the world a better place just by being you. You have the power to create your life in each moment. Reclaim that power. Let the fire of the dragon burn away doubt and fear. Let it burn away what holds you back. Rise even stronger. Embody your highest potential. If you fully trusted your natural power, what's one thing you would do differently today? Do it. Mm. Let that card sink in. Let that message sink in. And as that's coming up, the question again that we asked was about reflecting on the past year, reflecting on the next year, and in the context of natural power, reflect perhaps on what in out of this past year has more closely aligned you with your natural power. Maybe what experiences or people or thought processes or anything has has evoked your natural power or called upon your natural power. And for the upcoming year, if you really felt aligned and in your power, what would be different? So like this message said, do something differently today. How might you approach the next year? if you were fully reclaiming and owning your power. So I'm going to read the message one more time, but I also want to say one other thing, which is that a lot of times we hear the word power and think power over others, or you know, this connotation of people in positions of power, and that's sort of a dysfunctional notion of power. So natural power, the reason it's called natural power is because this is the inner power that you always have to create your life in each moment. So here we go one more time. You are a powerhouse. Literally, your body and soul house an immensely powerful being. This power is not born of how hard you work or how much money you have. Your power stems from your aliveness, from the fact that you exist. The natural power that radiates from you is not meant to hold anyone else down. It's meant to lift everyone up. It's meant to lift you up. You have the power to make the world a better place just by being you. You have the power to create your life in each moment. Reclaim that power. Let the fire of the dragon burn away doubt and fear. Let it burn away what holds you back. Rise even stronger. Embody your highest potential. If you fully trusted your natural power, what's one thing you would do differently today? Do it. My friend, have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. I will see you next year. And enjoy this contemplation as you reflect on the year behind, the year ahead, and your life as a whole. Reclaim your power, my friend. <laughs>